The Art of Special Attacking, arguably the most important tool in a PKR's arsenal. Let's get into it. In this video, we'll be going over how, when, and what to use to go for your special attacks. So stay tuned until the end. When it comes to the art of special attacking, there's going to be an assortment of main factors as well as sub factors that you're going to want to pay attention to in order to find out when is the most optimal time to go for your special attack. Now the first main factor you're going to want to pay attention to is your own HP. For the reason that if you're rocking around 70 HP, you're at risk of getting special attacked and killed. And if you're getting killed from staying too low HP, you're never going to get go for a special attack to begin with. So make sure your HP is at at least an optimal number before you go for your special attack. Unless you're risking it, which in that case we'll get to that in a bit. Now the second main factor you're going to want to pay attention to is your opponent's HP. This is because if your opponent is rocking 114 HP and or just completely safing, even if you get the best XP drop and it turns out to be a 35 or a 40 attack damage, they're going to end up at around 75 to 80 HP, which frankly, that's not a good time to special attack at. As with every rule, there are exceptions and the exception is if you have an absolute max XP drop. If you're hitting a 45 in your next attack, it might not be the worst idea to, to try to just follow it up with a, an AGS maul. I personally like to go in for my special attack when someone's around 60 to, to 50 HP, maybe even low 70s if they're, if they're rocking squishy gear such as Mystics and whatnot. But the last main factor you're going to want to pay attention to is your XP drops. If you go for a, a bolt and the XP drop says it's going to be 150, normally the damage splatter is going to come out to a mid 30s which is a good attack. In most instances, you're going to want to go for the, the AGS and s stack that 30 damage splat with your 70 Armadil God Sword and who knows how much your maul can hit, mine can hit a 30. Now let's go over some of the sub factors you're going to want to pay attention to when going for a special attack. Before going for a special attack, make sure you're not brewed down from when you were eating. As you can see, whenever we take a sip of our brew, our attack and strength goes down. And this is bad because instead of our our max special attack being a 57, if we're brewed down, our special attack is only a 41. So in most instances, if not all instances, going for the spec when you're brewed down is just a waste. Some other sub factors you're going to want to pay attention to are what gear your opponent is wearing and what prayers they're praying as well. For example, if your opponent is wearing mage gear, Mage gear tends to be very, very squishy in comparison to our tank gear, which aka our range and melee gear. When we see our opponent rocking mage gear, oftentimes we're going to want to go in for the special attack. Same thing with prayer. If you see your opponent is camping protect from magic or protect from mage, then it would, might not be a bad idea to go in for the special attack because you might just catch them off guard. Now here are some clips of the consequences of kind of just keeping your mage gear on too long because as we said it's really weak and squishy and if you're not praying mage as well as having your mage gear on you're just asking to die and get special attacked. Now the last sub factor I want you to keep in mind and pay attention to is the amount of double eats your opponent have. In a normal fight, your opponent usually rocks 1 to 2 anglerfish, aka 1 to 2 combo eats. So, going for the special attack while they have their combo eats is usually, it's not a bad idea, but you're a lot less likely to get the KO than you would be had you have uh, stacked your opponent out a bit and made them use their double eats prior to going for your special attack. Like right here where we predict he's going to go for the spec. So we double E and even though he went in for a spec at a good time, it's really unlikely he's going to get us due to our double E. Now that we've gone over the indicators of when to special attack, let's go over precisely how to special attack as well as some of the strategies you might want to incorporate. The first weapon I want to go over is the Armado God Sword. The Armando God Sword is one of the most popular and powerful PK weapons you'll find in the wilderness. So after a big bolt, what you're going to want to do is click your Super Combat Potion, go into your Armando God Sword, then click over to your Special Attack, and then quickly click uh, click over to your Piety. Make sure you turn that on at the all while you're running towards your opponent. 
Now here's an example. Look for the drop, drink your potion, wield your weapon, click your opponent, special attack, piety. If you're fast enough, you can toss on smite too. Boom, targets annihilated. Now once you're comfortable with simple AGS specs, what you're going to want to do is add a granite maul into the whole thing. Now let's repeat the steps we previously did. We start with the sip of the potion, wield your AGS, click your opponent, and while you're running over there, turn on your spec, click piety, and then here you're going to want to wait and see if you have a good XP drop. Because if it's not a good XP drop, then you're not going to want to go for the granite mole. Essentially, you'll be wasting your special attack. And it's better to save that second special attack for another AGS instead of going into a zero AGS and granite mole. But in this case, we did have a good hit. So we click the, the mole, we click our special attack, and that's how we do it. Now we're going to flip the script and instead of going for an AGS into the Granite Mall, we're going to go for the Granite Mall into the AGS. So let's proceed as usual. Now the only difference here is with an AGS into the Mall, when we click our special attack right here, the Granite Mall goes off automatically. Now with the AGS, this isn't the same. We're going to have to click our special attack and then click our opponent one more time as you just saw. If we just click the special attack and leave it as is, the attack won't go off. This next special attack is arguably the fastest and most likely to catch your opponent off guard. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go for a regular smack, whether it be with the AGS or a whip, but not a special attack. And as soon as we see the XP drop, we're going to click our granite mall and press our special attack. That'll automatically make the granite mall swing. And if we want to use the second granite mall, which you do, you're going to want to click your special attack once more in rapid succession, making it essentially a double click. Now this is how it should look. The Ancient God Sword is one of my favorite special attacks and works very well with the Ballista. So just as you would with a regular uh, arm metal god sword, go in for the special attack, put on your piety, and you can either choose to go for another special attack, which wouldn't be bad because as you can see, you can still hit pretty high. But uh, w after that, you're going to proceed to want to just keep damaging and hoping to stack them out as you had just seen right there. When I'm feeling a little fancy, what I like to do with the ancient god sword is proceed as usual, but instead of going for two ancient god sword special attacks, I like to switch to the DDS or it might be dragon knives, but something fun to, to really stack them out. And if it doesn't stack out at the end, just proceed to keep doing some last tick hits and hopefully you'll, you'll catch them off guard. Now one last thing I wanted to go over with the Ancient God Sword special attack is not only does it deal 25 damage at a later tick rate, but that 25 damage heals you. So when you're getting stacked out, comboing your a special attack with your, your regular eating might just get you out of that situation and keep you alive. Furthermore, because the Ancient God Sword special attack heals you 25 HP each special attack, Throughout the fight, that can add up to 75 HP, which is more than a full brew. So when it comes to outlasting someone with an Ancient God Sword, good luck. Now to round everything out, I want to go over a couple strategies to use while special attacking. In this strategy, you could see that we got red barred and we did in fact get chanced. So at this point, we are definitely on the ropes. And because of this, our opponent kind of goes on the offensive and kind of neglects to eat. We notice that he's not really eating and mainly just trying to go for damage, so we do a, a fake eat right there. As you can see our character, it looks like we're eating, but in fact we went for an offensive potion, aka a pot trick, and we're going for the special attack right now. So because it looked like we eat, he was most likely not expecting to get hit with a, an attack right there, and in the end it worked out and we got the kill. This is called risking it and can be done with any special attack weapon, but I find the Ancient God Sword is a little more safe because you gain 25 HP. Going for a special attack early on in a fight can oftentimes be very beneficial for a few reasons. 
For example, as you can see, our special attack naturally regenerates, and it regenerates at a relatively quick pace. So if we're holding on to our special attack till the absolute end of the fight, then you're just not going to be efficient because by the time you get to the middle of the fight, you would have uh, already recharged your first special attack. Furthermore, by dumping that early special attack, you might just get your opponent to use their, their combo E as stated earlier before. And without a combo E for your opponent, it is just a lot harder to survive your, your actual special attack that will be coming later on in the fight. Now the last benefit of special attacking early on in a fight is that it helps you escape. Now if you go for a special attack with only 3-4 to four brews left, you might just start panicking and looking for the KO any longer will just ensure that you stay too long and get yourself killed. So by going for a special attack early on, you can go for the snare and just simply escape. So now you know when and how to special attack. But do you know all the main tactics for PKing? Check out this video here.